Hello and welcome to another episode of One Race Wonders, where we dissect the shortest of Formula One careers. We have looked at a multitude of drivers from all eras of the sport, but today we are looking at one of the most interesting and one I have been looking forward to doing. Stefan Sarazan can be described as a jack of all trades, but master of none, as he seems to have had a go at everything from single seaters to rallying to sports cars. So if you like the video, remember to subscribe and watch the One Race Wonders playlist. And with that, let's begin. Welcome to Front Runner Motorsport. We are going to have to go back all the way to 1993 for the start of Stefan Sarazan's career. He would win the Formula Renault 2.0 Cup in 1994 and move up to French Formula 3 the very next year. There ends the most successful part of Sarazan's career. He ain't winning much else from here. He'd finished second in the French Formula 3 Championship in 1997, losing out to household name Patrice Gay. Sarazan would keep moving up the ladder for the Apomatax team in International Formula 3000 for 1998, winning the opening round at Oschersleben and finishing 6th overall. He'd win again at Hungary in 1999 and finish 4th overall in the final standings, but in 1999 bigger things were afoot for Sarazan that year. He was already a test driver for French team Prost GP in Formula 1 when Minardi driver and Ferrari employee Luca Badoa injured his wrist and could not compete at the 1999 Brazilian Grand Prix and so Minardi borrowed Stefan Sarazan for the race and the Frenchman would make his one and only Formula 1 appearance. He outqualified teammate Marc Genet as well as both Arrows cars for an impressive 18th on the grid. It's Minardi remember, 18th on the grid is a holiday in the sun for them. The race was going pretty well for Sarazan as well, he was running as high as 11th until a throttle problem shot him straight into the wall and sent him spinning across the track. And sadly that was the end for Sarazan. And I don't really understand why, he had been doing fairly well in single seater racing and showed plenty of potential in his debut, but no other midfield team looked at that and picked him up. He was just one and done. It's such a shame. He returned to International F3000 as well as testing for the Pros team at the turn of the century, but he never had any kind of success in F3000 again, and Prost disintegrated shortly after. Stefan Sarazan had only a single race at Le Mans in 2002 with the PlayStation Orica team finishing 5th, but he'd returned single seaters in 2003 in the World Series by Nissan Championship, winning a race at Monza and finishing 7th overall. But Formula 1 never came calling ever again and Sarazan began competing in a multitude of series. He has raced at Le Mans 18 times between 2001 and 2019, finishing second four times, twice for Peugeot and twice for Toyota. He did win two Le Mans Series championships with Peugeot in 2007 and 2010. He has also turned his hand to rallying on a few sporadic occasions. In 2004 he would finish fourth in Spain in a Subaru Impreza, but has also raced in Fords, Hyundais and Skodas, including at the 2020 Monte Carlo Rally. Some of his best recent performances have come in the Formula E series. Spending three seasons with the Venturi team, he never won a race but got several podiums. His first a second place at Long Beach in 2016 before moving to Tachita at the end of 2017 and finishing third twice. But he never bettered sixth in the overall standings which he managed in 2015-16. To me Stefan Sarazan never reached his full potential. He really showed something in his one and only Grand Prix race. I really think a team like Prost or Sauber could have benefited from having this man driving for them, but he was never given a chance and has kind of been squandered in various forms of motorsport, never finding a long lasting place anywhere except maybe Le Mans, which he has never won, yet anyway. He's still going so there always is a chance of him turning it around and maybe taking that Le Mans win, but Stefan Sarazan will always be a Formula 1 one race wonder. Thank you for watching. Remember this is episode 13 in a series, so check out the link below to see the whole playlist. 
Also, remember to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and a like, hit the bell for notifications. I cover anything motorsport related and hopefully with it all starting again soon, there will be more to cover. Also, follow me on Twitter and Facebook, there is a link in the channel banner on my channel page. And with that, thanks again for watching and have a good one.